So our, our next speaker um, is uh, our current lab director, uh, who is uh, no foreigner to user facilities, uh, Mike Witherall. Uh, he is the former, he has been the former uh, director of Fermilab about uh, several years ago, uh, and most recently was the vice chancellor for research at uh, UC Santa Barbara. And now we're very fortunate to have him as our, our lab director. So Mike, uh, thank you for joining us. Uh, welcome, Mike. Here, thank you. Take that. Yeah. Thank you. So and I want to put a little bit in the context of this laboratory in the DOE laboratory user facilities. Uh, as you know, uh, E.O. Lawrence invented the cyclotron here and started that era of accelerators where new labs developed around large accelerators at Brookhaven, at Slack, at Fermilab. And since that time, accelerators have changed our understanding of the universe. But also, the thing that no one realized early on is that accelerator-based X-ray sources like the advanced light source have transformed our ability to image structures. And, if, and this is a, a great example of how these science and technology you develop goes, goes in directions that you never plan. That's never what people had in mind. Well, another part of Lawrence's legacy here, and you see it around this laboratory quite a lot, is he invented team science as he brought together ever larger teams of scientists, engineers, technicians to build these grand projects. So the DOE National Laboratories actually grew up around the idea of taking this team science to a larger and grander scale and to develop scientific user facilities, originally at the big accelerator centers. And these served as a, a large base of scientists. It would provide them unique instrumentation. And on a basis that was free, just for the proposal for a good idea, you could come and use our facility. So what you heard about from Paul and uh, today is that the foundry was started as a new type of DOE user facility, one designed to address the needs of this nanoscience and nanotechnology community. Um, and it, in, it was the first of its kind, but it was also a natural evolution of this laboratory and embodies what it is and should be. Uh, it's not just a few pieces of equipment, but it is the expertise, it is a community of researchers working together in that open and network and connected way to do new things. Um, in, in addition, because its location at this laboratory, it's been able to uh, take, users have been able to take advantage of our other user facilities, the Advanced Light Source, NERSC, the Supercomputer Center. And in all, what you've heard about today was that the Foundry was able to develop a uniquely creative environment for the scientists. Uh, so we are, and I am, uh, very pleased to be joining the Office of Science uh, in celebrating the great scientific return of this and the other uh, uh, nanoscale research centers. The nation made a big bet on this 10 years ago, and I would argue has gotten a great return on investment on that. Uh, scientific organizations come from around the world to look at what we've done here and see how to duplicate the scientific productivity of the foundry. Uh, it also, this success also makes us think about what other emerging areas of science would also benefit from a creative new type of user facility. That's something as a laboratory we should be thinking about all the time. So, so to conclude, I would like to say, start with saying thanks to Lawrence, not only for inventing accelerators, but for developing that early ideas of team science and bringing this. Thanks to everyone in this room who has made, who built the foundry, made it what it is today, made it the creative scientific community that it represents today. It has contributed enormously to the rich intellectual environment here at the laboratory, and it will, uh, it's, it's a central part of what we do. And finally, I would like to give special thanks to uh, Paul Alvisados for his vision in establishing the foundry and the other founding directors and uh, to Jeff Neaton for what he does now in continuing the creative leadership and keep inventing this as a foundry in a fast-moving field. So thanks to them. <laughs>